Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, we're flying through these videos today, aren't we? We're flying through. Now, I'm just going to make it quick now before I get on my merry way over to, over to Sheffield. Now, Ben Davidson, aka Baby Ben, whatever he's called, the former amateur semi professional footballer or whatever, um, boxer, trainer, manager, uh, guru, keep fit, aerobic instructor, wherever he is, I don't know him. Never met him. But. He's training Billy Joe Saunders again. He's gone back to Billy Joe Saunders in the Akafoff fight, didn't he? In Paisley. And then he went somewhere else, then Ben went back to him, then he went back to Dominic Ingle, and he's gone up. Oh. He's been with Billy Joe Saunders three times now. Three times, I mean, come on. Enough's enough now, isn't it? I mean, what is going on? What? I don't know. Does he fart in the hotel room at night? I don't know what. Uh, what's going on here? Look, Billy Joe Saunders had Ben for one fight in Paisley. And he looked shocking, didn't he? Right. He looked shocking, and then they had him at that fight when he won WBO 168 pound fight. He got caught in that fight. He went back to Dominic Ingle after that. And now he's gone back to Ben now again, I mean. Ben's with him for the third time now, but Ben's not with Tyson, and everybody seems to think, oh, he's gone back to Ben now because he can devote more time to him and he's not about Tyson. Well, what I want to point out is this, what everybody's missing. What about poor old Isaac Lowe? in all this. Isaac Lowe. What about him? Poor old Isaac Lowe. I don't, uh, I don't get it. What, what's going to happen with him? Why isn't Ben Davidson in camp with Isaac Lowe? Because Ben Davidson was Isaac Lowe's trainer. Tyson Fury saying he's gone with Sugar Hill, who He's Emmanuel Stewart's nephew, but what does that mean? What does that mean? Does that mean he's a great trainer? We don't know, do we? He knows boxing inside out, but he is not Emmanuel Stewart. So I don't know, but this is how I look at it. Right? Isaac Lowe is on that show with Tyson Fury, and Isaac Lowe was trained by Ben Davidson. So why isn't Ben Davison training Isaac Lowe, but yet he's training Billy Joe? Ben Davison came back to the UK and said he was going to get some more work somewhere else or something. Why didn't he just stay in camp with Isaac Lowe? Is it because Isaac Lowe is not on that much money? I mean, Tyson's on millions and Isaac Lowe's on a pittance. Is it not worth the money for Ben to stay out in in Vegas with Isaac Lowe. I don't know, but I kind of feel sorry for him, Isaac Lowe. He's just, I don't know, is he just piggybacking on back of Tyson? Because he's a traveler and he can get on shows? I don't know. Good little fighter, Isaac Lowe, though. I like him, but why isn't Ben Davidson training him? It's Tyson that is not training. So, does that mean that Isaac Lowe is just going to let anybody train him as long as he can get on shows with Tyson Fury. I don't know. But what happened to Asgi running around saying Ben Davidson's best training in the world? What's happened to him? Well, that's what he was running around saying, wasn't he? He was hanging out at the back of him, out of that Ben. Where, where, where's Asgi? Where's Asgi? Tyson's not training with Ben. But Ben says he might work with him again down line. Uh, why is that? 
Why would you wait with somebody again down the line when they're not, they're not, you've not let them train? Why would Ben wait with Tyson again when he's let him go? Is he just like a dishcloth that everybody gets rid of? And then every now and then they'll wash it and then they'll use it again. What? What's going on? I don't get that. Has he not been treated very well? I don't think he has. I mean, he probably got Tyson in the right frame of mind to make a comeback. He's probably put up with a lot. Being in camp with them, he'll have put up with a lot. It takes a strong person to stick it out with, with, with Tyson in camp. I mean, he was saying in that interview on IFL that he's had 12 trainers since he first started out as an amateur. Take the, take the amateur trainers away. He's had quite a few as a pro, but none of them have stuck it out with him. But I bet, out of all of them as a pro, I bet there were only a few that could really stand up to Tyson, because he's a dominating personality, isn't he, Tyson? So, I'm not buying into all this, why they've split up and this and that and blah de bar. As far as I'm concerned, it's all a bit of a shambles, isn't it, really? All this stop-start stuff and all that, and he's training him, and she said, she said, and he said, she, fuck, she said, and blah de blah It's all a bit of a mess, isn't it? Now, Billy Joe, is he going to leave Ben again and go back to Dominic? I mean, what is going off? And why are these trainers letting people hire and fire them or... I'm not going to say use and abuse them because fighters have to look out for themselves, don't they? I mean, how dare I say anything about a boxer? How dare I have an opinion? But it looks to me like people are being used and abused and hired and fired. That may sound harsh, but... That Ben went all the way right wheel with Tyson, didn't he? He was there for him on the end of a phone and he's seen the still mates and this and that and blah de blah and that may be so. But the moral of the story is this. We're at the business end now. The big money is about to be split up. We're talking millions and millions of pounds. Now if you're in a position where you've not trained anybody all their life and then all of a sudden you, you're jumping on board with these people, can you just command 10%? If Tyson's getting, I don't know, 35, 40 million, say he's getting 30 million to fight Wilder, 30 million quid, is Ben entitled to 3 million of that? He's his trainer, isn't he? But I don't think he's entitled to 10%. Because he's not put the yardage in, but he's put some yardage in, hasn't he? But is he entitled to the whole 10% whole of it? No. Would he be entitled to 10% of Isaac Long? Probably, yeah, but he hasn't put the time in with Isaac. But we're talking about big, big money here. So I'm going to look at it like this. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say they fell out over what he wants for his cut. That's what I'm going to say. Now, Billy Joe won't be getting as much as Tyson for his next fight, but Ben will be getting paid, won't he? Now, he'd have been getting paid with Tyson Fury, but money is the root of all evil and fallout. And it's very complex, a boxer's relationship with a trainer now. Nobody will want to speak about it, but usually fallouts in boxing are usually about money, especially with trainers and fighters, but nobody knows what's going on, so we're only speculating, aren't we? But I kind of feel sorry for Ben Davidson. I'm not team, De I'm not team Ben Davidson, just because of this, but... I kind of feel sorry for him, but we don't really know, do we? So, but Tyson's the one in the ring. He's saying he wants to have a punch-up with Wilder, meet him at Midland Ring and have a punch-up. That's why he's gone to Sugar Hill. 
because he's this magical guy that turns you into knockout archers. Now, fair enough, we did that with Adonis Stevenson, and that's brilliant. But people who punch like that are born with it, aren't they? It's a bit too late in the day for Tyson to change his spots, isn't he? Right, he's not just going to turn into Julian Jackson overnight, is he? Tyson's probably playing Wilder and he's just going to come out there and box his ears off because you've got to think the opposite. Whatever Tyson Fury says, think the opposite. If he says he's going to have a tear up with Wilder, because Wilder knows he can't outbox him, so Wilder's just going to come out and put it on him. Tyson knows that, but he don't mean to say he's going to put it on Wilder, does it? He'll just stick to what he does. He'll mess Wilder about and he'll fumble his way to a 12 points, 12 round points win. That's what, that's what Tyson does. He'll fumble his way to a 12 round points win. He's not going to come and have a tear up with Wilder, but then again, I said they weren't even going to fight and they're fighting, aren't they? So, who knows? They haven't fought yet, though, have they? Well, that's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it, but it is what it isn't. So, I look at the opposite. Whatever Tyson Fury says is the opposite. But, no matter what, I will say this. Tyson Fury is a masterful boxer. And he's got the heart of a lion for getting up after being punched like that. But if Wilder hits him early doors, like he hit him in the 12th round, I feel for Tyson. Because that man can put your lights out forever, can't he? But I don't think he's going to want to trade lever with him. He's going to do what he does best. And that's bob and weave, slip and slide, stay out of back, stay out of way. And I think he'll try and stink the place out. That's what I think. I mean, it's my opinion, eh? I don't see him going there to have a punch up with Wilder. Why would you do that? You'd be playing into his, you'd be playing into his hands, wouldn't you? You would be playing into his hands because we've all seen what he's just done to Dominic Brazil and Luis Ortiz. We've all seen that, haven't we? Now, 2019 will be remembered for Dominic Brazil and Luis Ortiz getting ice. And I mean iced. Now that's what had happened to Anthony Joshua if he fought Wilder. He'd get iced. Tyson, different kettle of fish, very hard to lay a glove on. But you're only as good as your previous fight, aren't you? Tyson fought Otto Wallin. And you were getting caught off Otto Wallin. So as all this caught up with him, all this... Uh, Like the, all this lifestyles that Tyson's had in the past, all the late nights, have they all caught up with him? And were we getting it, were we... How can I explain it? When Tyson fought Tom Swartz, Otto Wallin, Sarah Fasarifi and Pianetta, those sort of fives, were he masking over the cracks? Were he papering over the cracks in them fives? And we couldn't see what was wrong. And did Wilder just suddenly expose him with them knockdowns? I don't know. See, outbox Wilder, but you should outbox Wilder, shouldn't you? But when he got caught, he went down, didn't he? He only got hit a couple of times, didn't he? And he went down. But he got back up, but Tyson's a lot older now, isn't he? Than when he fought Sarah for Sarifi. So I don't know, but it's a very intriguing fight. Can Tyson Fury out? Wilder and not get caught for 36 minutes I don't think he can I think he gets knocked out I think he gets knocked out I think they have a rematch again for a trilogy and I think he gets knocked out again and it's sad to say that but I think that layoffs did him that's what I think um, I think Wilder is too hard, but it's also possible that Tyson could win 12 rounds and Wilder not catch him, but to do that, he's going to have to stay out of range and 
staying out of range is just going to stink the place out. Would people even want a third fight? I don't know. But when all's said and done, when everybody stops shouting and screaming and going back and forward on uh, social media saying who's the best and blah de blah, people need to get a life. When all's said and done, Tyson's record is one world title win, no losses and one draw, that's it, he's had two world title fights, a win and a draw, that's it, that is it, he's got two wins of a world champion, one a world champion and one a former cruiserweight champion, that is it, now We've got a fantastic profile. Is a promoter's dream. Now let's get with program here, shall we? Wilder's been a world champion five years. He equaled Muhammad Ali's record for defences. I don't know, but people are saying he's a one-trick pony. Well, it's some trick that he's got there. But Tyson Fury deserves a medal for getting in there with him. He deserves a medal. I don't want to hear any of this. I'm fighting at 60% because Tyson's not fighting at 60%. He's fighting at 100%. So I don't want to hear excuses. I just want to see some action. I don't want to see a stinker. He's told us he's going to meet him in centre at ring and they're going to have a tear up. Who knows? Maybe Wilder might want to box him and not have a tear up. Who knows? But if they do have a tear up, Sugar Hill's going to add to his game, but why couldn't Sugar Hill and Ben work together? I don't know, I don't get that. I mean, they brought Freddie Roach on, didn't they? But I hope that getting back to Billy Joe, I hope that Jimmy Tibbs goes in that camp and helps out, but Jimmy Tibbs and Billy parted, didn't they, at one point, so who knows what's going to happen. It's all very interesting, but I do know this much, that Tyson and Billy Joe are masterful boxers and I wish them all the best in their, coming up, in their fights that are coming up. So I think that's about it really. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, it's a fantastic sport and I'm just going to uh, shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. And I'm going to leave you with this. If Tyson Fury gets knocked out by Wilder, who's he going to fight? Who's he going to fight after that? And will his pay-per-view uh, fights, will, will they not be as regular? Will he be not on pay-per-view or is he pay-per-view all the time now? I don't know, it's very interesting, isn't it? But I can see Wilder knocking him out twice. And I can also see Tyson boxing his ears off twice. That's why it's a good fight and it's probably the biggest fight in world boxing at the moment. Alright, so peace out.